And we'll continue out again. Now I've got the engine tilted way up as we come out from our island shelter here. Because it's shallow here, it's three feet. Now I'm crossing back under the big bridge. And on around to the right, that's a little channel, Orange River back there. Okay, power plant, marker number 11. We're gonna make a turn, and here we begin the river really proper, and it's gonna, we're gonna have a lot of bends. It's gonna be windy. And we turn the bend. And we've got a nice little park here under the bridge. Now this is Highway 39. Eventually goes to Arcadia. And we're coming up on our first lock we're going to lock through. And Franklin Lock, this is Sea Doggy approaching from your west and like to lock through. Show you how to beach the boat. We have to wait for that lock to open. All we do is pick our spot. We're just going to slide the hull right up on the on the beach there. Going right between the two trees. Neutral. Got the engine up. Slide right up there. Now to get off we're going to take and rotate our wheel back and forth in reverse to break the suction and will come right off. Now you might be interested to know a lock that operates uh, there's there's no pumps or anything like that it operates simply on water pressure you let the water in from the high side let it out on the low side and you can start heading in you'll have a green light by the time you get her. Green light here we go. Coming on in he says about halfway up. We're on the wall. Got my line, got my boat. Ready to go. That's all there is to it. He's just opening up the lock. We're hanging on to the lines. You can see, that's all we're doing. All he's doing, he's letting the uh, river water into the lock. A couple of manatees locking through with us. Oh, he's got a crowd up here. That's it. Locking through. Okay, leaving the lock. Now in the river proper, we're in fresh water. And we're heading for Okeechobee. Yalva Bridge. And end of another day. We're coming up to a bend on the river and we're going to pull over for the night. Took a hamburger, cheeseburger. Well, it's 5 30 in the morning. I think we'll go ahead and head out. Uh, they say on the news here that uh, be thunderstorms in the morning, tomorrow morning. And so I want to make up Chubby. Uh, by then for sure. Probably more pressing problems. I've run out of clothes. I've got to find a laundry. It's actually going to be a tight squeeze with our radar, but I'm going to try to get it under this spot right here. Really nice coming down through here. Bridge we passed on is way down at the other end. Now we're coming up on LaBelle. You know, this is Highway 29 here at LaBelle. And you have the Port of LaBelle Marina about two miles up from the bridge. Here at the marina at LaBelle, they've got a laundry, they've got uh, a restaurant, they've got it all, and we're going to use it all. They got showers. Hey, with this captain on the left up here, when we're back at the yacht basin, we'll give him a break he's trying to he's only got eight horsepower in that thing he's delivering that little sailboat oh, 
we're doing at this point is just running as fast as we can to get to Moorhaven. Now this is the arrival point for the Ortona lock. There's the directions. Wait for the light. You can see on the lock we have a red light. Okay, he's bound to have green, my captain. A little more substantial lock than the last one. Now Moorhaven has a lot of facilities here right on the waterway to tie off, but a word of caution, I've seen the mega yachts come through here and almost throw other mega yachts right up on the land. Well now here is the situation. We've come over here to Lake Okeechobee and just as we got here, they have lit it on fire. That is the literally the bottom of Lake Okeechobee burning. It's very low and they're taking the opportunity to uh, burn off the lake grass and and it literally just went up as we got here at Moorhaven got myself in a little routine I wake up and uh, turn on the radio listen to the radio ra the weather report for the day and uh, and get the boat cleaned up if it needs cleaning up and uh, head back out to uh, head back out on the waterway now cook my coffee and do that stuff and we're pulled over here at Moorhaven spent the night last night we got power and we got a grocery store down the road I had a guy take me down the grocery store at a golf cart last night that was interesting I didn't realize until I got on the on the thing that the guy was lit and uh, anyway we got out there on 27 we made it you know but uh, it was one of those experiences of life now we're leaving more haven and it is very foggy <laughs> 